Hello everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I'm actually bringing you a recipe video. I got the opportunity to work with Mike Sells Potato Chips and I figured I would create a recipe for you guys that's quick, easy, and honestly really good for entertaining if you need an appetizer idea. So as you can see here, I'm setting up my breading station for the chicken. In that first plate, I have some flour, salt and pepper, and garlic powder. And then in that bowl, I just took two eggs and whisked them up a bit and added some raw local honey. Next, I'm adding the Mike Sells Honey Barbecue Chips to a stasher bag, which is actually a really great hack if you want a way to smash things that is reusable. I love using my stasher bags. And I added a lot of potato chips to this one and we're just gonna crush them up with our hands and put them on a plate. I did a little extra crunching here because they were a little bigger than I wanted. Don't forget to eat one as a snack. So next we're going to cut our two chicken breasts. You wanna make sure that you are making them about the same thickness so that they'll cook evenly. And I'm just cutting those up. I was counting them. I think I got about 14 of them. So now I'm just prepping my breading station so that it's the easiest for me to move through it and I'm going to dredge my chicken strips in the flour mixture, then the egg mixture, and lastly in those crushed up honey barbecue chips. I like using forks for the wet portion because I find that my fingers don't get as dirty and it, um, you wanna shake off the excess flour and then make sure that the egg, excess egg drips off of the chicken too and then coat them in the potato chips. So just going through and doing all of those. I decided here that I didn't have enough potato chips. So I went back in, got a few more and crushed them up. It's always better to go back for more than to make too many and crush too many and then waste them. So. I always like to start with less than I think I'm going to need and then go back for more. So I'm just going to finish up these last couple guys. I'm really, I'm sprinkling them on and then I'm really pressing them in so that I get a nice, good, even coating. So this is the last little guy. And here's what they look like. They kind of look like cornflakes, but they're way better. So in a, fry, a large frying pan, I just added some avocado oil. You wanna make sure that you add enough to coat the bottom of the pan. We're shallow frying these. I'm using avocado oil to keep it a little bit healthier and you wanna make sure that you don't add too many to the pan, otherwise you'll drop the temperature of your oil and then it'll take longer and they won't cook as nicely. They won't get as crispy. So make sure you don't add too many to the pan. I have this on about like a medium. I know that they look kind of burnt in this shot, but I promise you they're not. It's just that I live in Michigan and it's already getting dark here and I didn't have my lighting set up. So they look darker than they are, I promise. I'm just letting these cook on each side. Your real friend in this situation is going to be your thermometer. You'll see me take it out here in a second. And I'm going to make sure that I get each of these chicken tenders in the thickest part of the strip to about 160 because they'll carry over cook once I take them off the heat for about those last five extra degrees. So I like to cook my chicken to 160 
and then let it sit for a minute and reach that 165 once it's off the heat. You'll also want to make sure that you go in at an angle. Here is the final shot. You can see they look beautiful. They were so delicious. I served them up with a homemade spicy honey mustard. I used sriracha mustard, more of that honey, and a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. And it was delicious. It was sweet, a little spicy, but kind of tangy too because of the mustard. So highly recommend you check out Mike Sell's potato chips. I'll make sure to leave a link to their website at the bottom where you can do a sampler pack where you try out a bunch of different flavors and you can pick all your flavors, which is really fun. That's how I came up with this. And I like that they're made in the Midwest, in Dayton, Ohio. So they were delicious chips. We loved them. And I'll see you next time. Let me know if you like these recipe videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you did. Hello. I feel like I have watched so many creators apologize because Vlogmas doesn't go as planned. And I should have known better. But here we are. It's Monday. The clips you just watched are from Friday night. Let's see. So Friday I made that recipe. Saturday I had my last wedding of the year. And we had a windstorm. So I haven't had internet at my house since Saturday which means that I have to go somewhere to upload videos. Basically everything, the whole process of just like editing, if I need music, I can't download it, that sort of thing. Everything is just a little more complicated and I especially, I can't upload it to YouTube. So that makes things a little difficult. I have to go somewhere. So today's, it's Monday night right now. I'm freshly showered in my Christmas PJs. I'm gonna make some Christmas tea and I'm gonna read. I had a really busy day. I left the house and worked at a coffee shop from like 8.30 a.m. to 1. And then I hung out with my niece. And then cooked dinner. Had a client. And you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read. I can't watch TV. I can't watch Netflix. Can't do any of that stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna take it as a sign that my last wedding is done. My restful season has begun and I need to relax and I can get my stuff up tomorrow. I didn't end up taking any clips on Saturday or Sunday because honestly, Saturday my brain was a pile of mush and then Sunday it was still a pile of mush. <laughs> so today's the first day where I feel like actually productive and my brain is working kind of. And so I worked instead of vlogging, but that's okay. So we're gonna hope to pick things up now. So. Currently, I want to talk for a second because it is December, obviously, which if you are somebody who sets a yearly book reading goal, currently reading Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan and loving it. I'm 100 pages in. I started it last night and I'm already, the first 100 pages were so quick to get through because I loved it so much. So I'm excited to dive back into it. I'm curious if you're somebody who sets a goal, how close are you to meeting your goal? Did you already meet your goal? I did really well last year. I mean, it was quarantine, right? I had so much extra time. So I got a little over ambitious for this year and I upped my goal by like 13 books. So I think my goal last year was 52 and this year I made it 65 and uh, it's not gonna happen, but that's okay because I think I'm still gonna read more books than I read last year, which to me is still a win. This is number 51. So I just have to finish this book and read two more, and then I've beaten my my uh, number for last year. So I'm still gonna consider it a win, as long as I get three more books done. But I'm curious, if you did set a goal, where are you at? Um, have you read Crazy Rich Asians? I'm loving it, I haven't seen the movie because I am definitely one of those people. Like this video if you're a person who refuses to watch a movie or a TV show. In most cases, I mean, <laughs> I obviously make ex exceptions, but, and there's a lot of movies that I've seen that I didn't realize were books, but usually I try to read the book before I see the movie. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I picked this up at my thrift store for like 
60 cents or something crazy. So yeah, I'm going to finish reading that. Well, not tonight. Hopefully in the next two or three days I can finish it. And then I will start recording tomorrow and we will continue with Vlogmas. We're just going to skip over Saturday and Sunday because the content you would have gotten from me would have not made sense because my brain was so mushy. But wedding season is officially over for 2021. So crazy. I can't believe it. It felt like the season was never going to end, but here we are. I don't have any weddings now until March, which is exciting. So yeah, that's where we're at. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.